In sub-Saharan Africa, far too many children die from HIV AIDS, TB and malaria, due partly to too few medicines being adapted for children. Progress has been made in reducing the numbers of deaths through improved diagnostic testing and better treatment. But there are still not enough available and affordable quality child-friendly medicines. We need formulations for children because it's a nightmare to the pediatricians, it's a nightmare to the, to the parents of the children. It's really agonizing. Two million children are in need of HIV treatment. Only a quarter have access to antiretroviral medicines, and these medicines are often not child-friendly. Eunice's six-year-old daughter, Peace, has to take large, hard-to-swallow pills after she developed resistance to first-line drugs. Sometimes she swallow, sometimes she vomit, but when she vomits, we were told to give her again. So it was a difficult time on that this she takes one in the morning and one in the evening. Peace, who was diagnosed with HIV soon after birth, will have to take these drugs for the rest of her life. Efforts are underway to improve medicines for children living with HIV. UNITAID, with the Clinton Health Access Initiative, has brought the first paediatric fixed-dose combinations to market, in which children only take one pill twice a day. You find that those children who take the, the single tablet, even as you interact with them, you find that they are a bit better because they feel better because they are taking only one tablet. But many more fixed-dose combinations are needed for children who are on first line and for those who develop resistance and need second line and third line drugs. <music> Tuberculosis spreads easily amongst the poor, living in cramped and unsanitary conditions. 13-year-old Ernest has multidrug resistant TB, which he caught off his mother. He's recently started a two-year course of treatment with up to 18 pills a day, which can cause severe side effects such as deafness, blindness and paralysis. <laughs> Today, the only pills on the market are formulated for adults, so they have to be cut up for children to get the right dose. Unfortunately, when they have to access the adult formulations, they come, they pose with them challenges of being able to get the doses right, being able to get the drug combinations right, and the strengths in which these drugs were formulated also matters. UNITAID is working with the TB Alliance to develop new child-friendly formulations for TB and multi-drug resistant TB. The organization is also providing new equipment to help improve TB diagnosis in children and ensure they get treated quicker. The gene expert machine can rapidly diagnose TB and drug resistant TB in as little as two hours compared to traditional methods that can take up to two months. It is also more child-friendly, as it requires only small sputum samples. Malaria is rife in this coastal area of Kenya, and children are at the greatest risk of becoming sick and dying. But often the disease is misdiagnosed, Population Services International, funded by UNITAID, is spreading the word to community groups to get their children tested for malaria before buying medicines. Need to know about the need to test, getting tested, first before being treated. So this is why we are here at our community sessions. This is what we call a small group session. 
Uh, on average, you have uh, 30 women or men or uh, community members who sit through a session. And basically what we use is uh, education through listening techniques to reach them. The rapid testing kits, which require basic training and which UNITAID is co-funding, are being rolled out in local chemists and clinics. Testing ensures patients get the right treatment. If they take malaria medicines and they don't have the disease, resistance to the medicines can develop. It's also a waste of precious malaria medicine. Over the last few years, UNITAID has revolutionized the market for artemisinin malaria medicine for children. Today, through the work of the Affordable Medicines Venture for Malaria, there are adapted formulations widely available for children. UNITAID is also working with MMV to bring injectable artisanate for the treatment of severe malaria in children. Easier to use by medical staff, it's the recommended treatment in these life-threatening cases. However, the cost of the medicine is still too high. While there has been progress in HIV, TB and malaria treatment for children, there needs to be much greater investment in child-friendly medicines to ensure future generations lead healthy lives.